thanks for tuning into this video. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Today we're going to be um, taking basically a mirror off my truck. Basically a couple months ago, um, the mirror got whacked off. Uh, here, here, the right one got whacked off the truck, um, and I'll show you what happened to it before. And then <clears throat> this basically is a replacement that I bought online. Um, and I'll really show you uh, how to get everything apart and how to replace the mirror and I'll tell you a little bit more about how I got this mirror. So let's stay tuned. First we have to wash this truck because it's disgusting. Let's do it. Basically what happened is when back out in the garage, my dad ended up completely destroying this part of the mirror. So the Ridgeline mirror is built into kind of, well, lots of pieces. So there's basically the mirror piece. So this is the one that got destroyed. And the mirror is actually in all right shape, even though it's a little bit scratched up. But the biggest issue was right here. Now this is the part that connects the actual mirror part to the truck. So it's kind of in between the mirror and the truck. And it looks like this. Basically, this is on the inside, and then this piece here, and then this piece here sits on the outside, and the mirror sits basically on top of it. Like this. Now, some cars is different. Some cars actually have the mirror mounted on the side of the uh, vehicle on the door. I don't really know much about that, but I expect it's pretty similar. Um, same idea take off the door panel, and then after that, um, there'll be a mounting point right here. But here, it's just above, or just below, sorry, this kind of mirror underneath the A-pillar. So um, let's go and we'll take it apart, and um, basically I'll show you how to, you know, put it back together. Hello guys, and welcome to the bed trunk area of the Ridgeline. I'm going to show you the part, or the tools you'll need, sorry, um, to complete this task of taking off the mirror. So basically, um, I have this long flathead screwdriver. This will be used to pry off the... Uh, little plastic clips around the door panel. Um, I have this star headed screwdriver basically and this will be to take off some of the screws involved with the door panel. Um, for my truck it's a 10 millimeter socket um, basically to remove some of the uh, basically to remove some of the bolts that are on the, the mirror itself so you'll just use this to take it off. Okay guys so now that um, We've opened the door, we're going to start taking off the door panel, which is the first step in order to take off the mirror. So basically, it won't work this way for all cars, but for most cars at least, there'll be some screws holding this on, and then a bunch of clips holding the actual door panel on. So first, let's take off the screws. So the first screw will actually be most likely in or around the door handle. So in this case, it's actually right underneath the door panel. So you just grab your screwdriver and you... push down on it and then okay so now it'll reveal two screws now I've got my screwdriver and most likely it'll be a star so uh, go in here Lastly, there's a screw down here, so it could be located in many areas. I've seen it located sometimes in like cup holders and things on the bottom. Sometimes it'll be on top, hidden, um, and sometimes it'll be just right here. So this is kind of in one of the storage compartments on the top. flat head and basically go around and start kind of prying around the outside um, trying to kind of get out these clips so outside. I personally start at the top um, on one side and then kind of make your way down 
and you're trying to just pop these clips, you hear that little pop sound. It's a little bit easier for me because I've done it before and I can actually see the marks where I, uh, There it is, it's off. So, I basically just take it. There we go. So now the door panel is off. So, now that it's off, um, this video here is also if you're probably putting in aftermarket speakers, you can also use this. So the speakers are down here, but we're gonna be taking off the mirror today. So. Um, next, you're going to grab your flathead again. Um, and as you can see, you start by kind of prying it off of the screwdriver. It was easier for me because the clips have always been already been popped off since the last time I did this. So it might be a little bit difficult, but just go around, feel it out, and then eventually you'll be able just to pull it out. And don't be afraid to, you know, pull it. Your clips might break. Um, I don't think they broke on mine, but they might. So uh, just be careful. Don't be yanking it too hard, but feel free to yank it a little bit um, to try to unpop those clips. So let's go around now and pop off this. So. I've seen it differently in some cars. I forget how it was in my Volvo, but it's, ah, ah. Go around basically and you just put off. There's most likely a Oh, there's this weird clip here. I don't know if you see that. And it's holding it in. It's off. So now what's revealed is um, four basically screws. So um, I'm gonna grab my wrench right here, and I think it's 10 mil. It'll be revealed soon. This one's definitely 10, but I think. It's by hand. Make sure not to lose these because that would be uh, extremely bad. I guess you'd go and, oh. Um, yeah, so that would be extremely bad if you lost these. You'd probably find replacements, but I don't know. It wouldn't be fun. Uh, and they'd probably be expensive because... <laughs> around and it probably should be loose. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go around here. Ah, I think there's something else holding it. I forget what. Another clip. There it is. So, now that that's all off, the last piece here will be the electrical clip. Oh, I can't really see it. Okay. It should come up there. And, there we go. It's still wet after I washed it, I guess. But, anyway, there we go. So, we have the new mirror. So, um, another thing that really Um, that really screwed up kind of this new thing is this is a Honda basically um, main watch camera built into it so on the passenger mirror in uh, the more high-end models on Honda vehicles they'll have this thing called lane watch and it's basically just a camera here I'll show you. right here um, and basically when you're driving it'll kind of show you what's next to you it's kind of like a blind spot thing um, but instead of just a little light that comes on you might not know it gives you a camera so Kind of judge, and I think they do have blind spots eventually if you make your way up to some of the top trims, but uh, not on the more base trims and mid range trims. So, let me just show you over here. 
this one here has it too. So the key differences between these two mirrors um, was that when we got it, one, the color doesn't match. So this is from a Sport, which is this truck here. So it's kind of a you know shinier black. Um, and this is just from another model of some sort. I forget what we ordered from, but I don't think it was a Sport. It wasn't because if you wanted, sorry, to get the Lane Watch Cam, um, I bought this in the States, by the way. If you want to get the Lane Watch Cam, you have to upgrade to a higher trim. The Sport in the States doesn't come with it. So um, I think it's from an RTL T, maybe. I forget what the trim was, but it's one of the higher end trims that gets the Lane Watch. Um, and another issue was we should have actually gone even higher up to the top trim that gets turn signals in the mirrors because that one there doesn't. So they don't match color wise. They're both white, same white, but the trim isn't different or, or is different and it doesn't have the turn signal. The turn signal is not a big deal, but the trim would kind of be nice if it wasn't the same. Um, so let me explain now kind of how to put everything back together and then I'll explain a little bit more how I ended up buying these mirrors. Panel and door is complete. As long as I can. So the next part basically is is the lane watch does get screwed up. I probably pointed on that and then forgot about it. The lane watch is that camera that kind of shows you it's right here. Um, the issue was that when you unplug it and you put in a new one, I haven't even checked yet, but this might actually not work. I might have to recalibrate it again. Um, and there's a small way to calibrate it. I'm gonna make a video kind of after this um, showing you how to calibrate it. So make sure to check it out if you do have a Honda product. If you don't have a Honda product, you don't need it. If you have some other car that has one of these, which I don't think there is, um, probably is different, but it's probably pretty similar. So make sure to check out that video if you need to. Uh, let me go and explain a little bit more about how I got this mirror. So um, basically when this mirror was hit off, we went to Honda dealer here in Ottawa, and um, they told us it was gonna be probably about $1,000 Canadian to get it fixed by them. So that's including the new mirror, which would have matched perfectly probably. Um, had the turn signal, probably had the same trim. Um, and 
would have been $1,000, and that also included the calibration for it. But then I went online, and I found this mirror, I think, for somewhere around probably, like, 400, I think, US, which is, like, five, almost 600 Canadian. Um, factor in that, and it was probably, that probably includes shipping. So somewhere around $600, I think, by the end of it. Um, and it's not a perfect match, but it's pretty good for the savings that I got $400. So I ordered it from this Honda Parts Direct place, I think, and they're located in Houston or Scottsdale. Right. Anyway, so we ordered it from them. It took a little bit of time for it to get um, kind of, you know, shipped. Um, but once it got shipped, it arrived pretty quickly. I went to the States, picked it up. Uh, that only cost us an extra, you know, $50 maybe at most. We also bought a bed extender, so included. I might be getting my numbers wrong, but it was somewhere around there. Anyway, we ended up saving somewhere around 400-ish dollars um, from getting just buying it in the States and doing it myself. Um, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for them. Um, so that was basically how I got this mirror. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. As I said before, I am trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So that's by 2018. Hopefully get 100 subscribers. And I'll be making a lot more car videos. I have a Subaru WRX lined up and uh, a bunch of other really cool cars, including maybe a really cool supercar. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Hit that little bell if you want notifications, um, and that way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And make sure to stay tuned for more videos like this, um, and have a good day.